Hey, Richard Beach here from SonicState.com, Amped. Uh, welcome to this review of the PS6, the Harmonist pedal from Boss. We're doing 30 bite sized reviews from Boss, and we're on to the Harmonist, the PS6, one of the more fun pedals to play with. So, let's have some fun. Uh, first of all, this is my clean, well, not clean, my dry tone sounds like. I've actually got a distorted tone at the moment. <laughs> Okay, and when I add the harmonist in, uh, just bear in mind that I'm set to the key of G on the pedal, uh, G major to be precise, and at the moment I've set the harmony mode to be an octave higher. So I've just got an octave above what I'm playing on my guitar added in by the harmonist. So here we go. The control panel is, uh, it's not complicated, but there's a lot going on. So first of all, right on the right hand side over here, you can choose between major or minor key, or if you don't want to do that, you can just go on pitch shifter, uh, and particularly if you've got an uh, expression pedal plugged into that, then that's really useful because you can use that to shift the pitch manually. You can go on to detune, which basically just detunes your sound. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, then fine. Uh, and you also have um, a weird sort of, almost like the Digitech whammy where you've, uh, well, I'll show you. You've got this effect where when you press the pedal, you get that sort of sound, so. And when that happens, it turns these two controls here into the rise time and the fall time, respectively. So, there's a lot you can do. I'm going to go back to the major mode though, because I just want to show you how on the harmony knob here, you can uh, go right back to uh, the first. These are basically notches, by the way. So you can click it in and it will give you a certain harmony. So right here we're on a three band harmony. And then if you go around uh, here, for example, That to me sounds like a fifth, uh, pretty sure it is. So you basically go up one step of the scale each time you click around, and then you can go right to the end again, and you have a different three voice harmony, a higher harmony rather than a lower. So that basically makes it very regal sounding. Uh, it just adds, I think it makes a triad above the root that you're playing. Uh, whereas if you click it right back to the other three voice harmony, it also adds in uh, a sub octave as well, rather than giving you the octave above. So uh, let's just go through a couple of these um, settings and see what they sound like. So if I have the mix knob all the way onto effect, it just gives me the process that the pedal is making. So for example, if I'm putting a, a G, I'm playing a G on my guitar, and I've got the harmony set to uh, a sixth harmony, for example, it will just give me this note here on my guitar. So a sixth above the G that I'm actually playing. So for example, without the pedal on, and set to a sixth with it on, I sound like this which is actually this note. 
So it's pretty cool and actually sounds really similar to when I'm playing that note as well. So the, the DSP on board is really good, good quality. You can't hear a lot of aliasing. Uh, it's just, I, yeah, I think it's a, a really good um, pitch shifting pedal actually and quite cheaper than a lot of the alternative ones on the market. The fact you can plug an expression pedal in is useful. Uh, you've got two outputs, which is also useful. So you can send uh, a harmony to a stereo signal, uh, which will make it sound, I imagine on some of those more choral harmonies will make it sound uh, very hilarious at some points. But it's, yeah, you, you've got all the keys, you can have major or minor, there's everything you could pretty much want from it, and it sounds good. So uh, if you're after a harmonizer pedal, then this one is definitely one worth checking out.